Hey guys, today we're looking at the BMW PI7 S2. Okay, I know some of you in my comments hate the way it looks, but it's got a reputation of being one of the best sounding earbuds out there with a new dual driver system that supposedly improves clarity. But it is very expensive, costing far more than the Bose QC2 earbuds, the AirPods Pro 2, or the Sony WF-1000XM4. So in this video, we're going to compare the PI7 S2 to those earbuds to see if it's any better in terms of features and performance, such as its sound, noise cancelling, and call quality. We're going to listen to some binaural sound samples, so I recommend wearing earbuds to hear all the details. And if you don't want to miss out on more reviews from this channel, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. One of the complaints that people had about the first version is that the signal drops out a lot, but I'm happy to report that in my time using this new model, the S2, its connection is very stable. It still uses a proximity sensor in the earbuds, which cuts the signal when it senses that one bud is further away than it should be, but as long as both buds are within range, the signal does not drop, which is great. What I like is that its case doubles as a wireless transmitter, which you can connect over USB or 3.5mm jack. This lets you get wireless audio from non-Bluetooth devices such as plain entertainment systems, old TVs, or even an old hi-fi system. Basically, anything with a headphone jack can be connected to the PI7 S2. For the PC though, if you don't want to connect over Bluetooth, perhaps because the case does offer extended wireless range, I recommend connecting the case to your PC over USB Type-C. And the reason for that is, compared to the regular 3.5mm connector, if you connect the case over USB Type-C, the volume is louder and it sounds cleaner. In fact, its quality is quite similar to a phone Bluetooth connection streaming over APTX. And it also charges the case at the same time, a win-win situation. Speaking of sound quality, after listening to them with tracks from various genres like R&B, lo-fi hip-hop, jazz, and synthwave, I think these sound amazing in the sense that they sound very versatile and accurate, and overall smooth, non-fatiguing sound with a heavy emphasis on sounding clean and detailed. Here is a sound sample comparing them to some of the best sounding earbuds right now. By the way guys, if you want to compare its sound quality to other earbuds side by side, visit loudandwireless.com's sound samples page, link in the description. I feel that it also sounds very tight and dynamic, not sluggish and bloaty, and vocals on the PI7S2 sounds smooth, prominent, and well separated from the rest of the music regardless of the genre. For bass hits, the PI7s are very clean in the low frequencies. Its bass can sound punchy and vibrant, or heavy and resonant, depending on the music. There was also very little to no bloat without losing impact, which is great. In terms of sound staging, I would not describe it as airy and spacious, but rather intimate and punchy. The one area which I didn't quite like about the PI7S 2s sound is this spike here above 10kHz, which you can see in this frequency response chart. 
This makes hi-hats sound a bit too sizzly, too sibilant for my tastes compared to many other earbuds. And there isn't any official way to tone down its treble either. Yes, in spite of its price, there is no way to tweak its sound using the native BNW app. No EQ presets, no graphic EQ, and the app doesn't allow you to customize much else either, such as its controls. So if you want the option to add volume controls to it, you simply can't. It's a nice app, and it does have some custom options, but not the ones that really matter to me personally. I'm going to dive deeper into its pros and cons later, but for now, let's test its call quality compared to other earbuds in both quiet and noisy conditions using some really loud cafe-style background noise and some wind noise coming from this fan. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the BMW PI7 S2. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Sony WF-1000XM4. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Bose Quiet Comfort Earbuds 2. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the AirPods Pro 2. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the BMW CI7 S2. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Sony WF-1000XM4. Now we get a phone call in a noisy place using the Bose Quiet Comfort Earbuds 2. I'm now we get a phone call in a noisy place using the AirPods Pro 2. I'm now we get a phone call in a noisy place using the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Its call quality in quiet conditions. It's actually very good, as in other earbuds tend to have an echoey quality to their mic pickups, but these sound quite tight. In noisy conditions though, its noise gating was set very low, so it lets in a lot of background noise, which isn't very good. But if you were to make phone calls most of the time in quiet conditions, this has easily one of the best mic pickups. Its active noise cancelling is actually pretty decent. It does cut quite a bit of low frequency noise, but it doesn't tackle as much mid-range noise as the likes of the Bose QC2 earbuds or Sony WF-1000XM4. So outside voices will sound a bit louder compared to these earbuds. Listen to the following sample recorded in the same noisy conditions as these other earbuds. There is also an adaptive noise cancelling mode, which senses how noisy your environment is and adjusts noise cancelling accordingly. For me, I just prefer a fixed setting because it's just much more straightforward. By the way guys, if you want to compare their noise cancelling and call quality to other earbuds, become a member for $1 per month or more. This gives you full access to my personal comparison tool, which you can use to compare headphones or earbuds A to B at your own time and at your own pace. Now, many people have joined up, especially people who can't just simply walk into a store to compare earbuds. They know 
that this is going to save them so much time being able to just cut through all the marketing and compare these earbuds remotely. So become a member, like them, click on the link below to find out more. In terms of transparency mode or audio pass through, it works as in you can still definitely have a conversation with somebody while using the PI7 S2. But it doesn't exactly sound transparent because it's got a lot of hiss. Definitely not as clean as transparency modes and Bose, Sony, and Apple's earbuds. You can tweak its transparency in the app, but the hiss gets louder the higher you go, and the lower settings have little to no transparency. That's not really a big issue. Like I said, it still works if you really need transparency. My biggest issue with it though is that you can only activate pass through in the app. Yes, not from the earbuds. The touch controls only let you toggle between ANC on and off. So if you want to quickly hear through your earbuds, you'll have to take out your phone, unlock, open the BNW app, then tap on toggle pass through. Other earbuds you just tap, right? Or tap and hold. So given that BNW's charging so much for the PI7 S2s, this is a huge misstep. So comparing them to the best earbuds in the market, what are the arguments for the PI7 S2s? Number one, it sounds fantastic. Easily one of the best sounding TWS earbuds I've ever tried. It makes me want to go back and listen to a lot of my music, which to be honest, I really just did. Number two, charging case doubles as a wireless transmitter. I've only ever reviewed one other product from LG that has this feature, but this one here has better sound quality by a mile, and you won't be disappointed with its ANC either. Cons. Well, it doesn't have custom sound and control options, doesn't have volume controls, no pass-through toggle on the earbuds, below average transparency. It would have been great if it had multi-point pairing too. At least have the option to connect the phone and the PC with the case. Its battery life is not as great as the competition. We're talking up to five hours in the buds and an extra 16 hours in the case. And it's not a small case either, about twice the size of the AirPods Pro 2's case. So it's probably a trade-off between a bigger battery or extra space to fit more tech inside, like a DAC, a discrete Bluetooth transmitter. That battery life is not bad actually, it's good enough for my daily commute. But this means that I'll have to charge it a bit more often compared to the Sony WF-1000XM4, Bose QC2 earbuds. So there are things that the BMW PI7 S2 nailed, and things that can be better. At this price level, I'm expecting the user experience to be higher quality, but if there is one reason to definitely try or even buy the PI7 S2s, it's because it sounds real awesome, possibly one of the best sounding TWS earbuds I've ever tried. So that's my take on the PI7 S2. If you want me to compare them to other earbuds, let me know in the comments. And if you don't want to miss out on more reviews, more comparisons from this channel, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. Also, smash the like button to refuel my HP. I'm also on Discord, so if you have Discord, come and join the chat, link is in the description. I've also made a video about my dream desk setup for 2023. If that's the kind of content that you're interested in, click on this video over here or watch another video from this channel.